Welcome to Filmora Pro, a new way to power up your storytelling. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how you can edit and mix audio, how you can unlink and sync your audio with footage, and how you can create split edits. Filmora Pro gives you many options for audio editing by allowing you to make adjustments to full tracks or just individual clips. In this example, I have a track I've named Ambient and one I've named Music. We can adjust the overall volume of either track by going to the Audio Mixer panel and adjusting our gain levels. We can also change our tracks panning at the bottom. If you want to make overall adjustments, you can go to the Master track and make adjustments there. Let's set the right mix between Music and Ambience. Finally, if we want to adjust the volume of any of our tracks over time, we can keyframe it by clicking the small circle on one of our tracks. We can then head to another part of our timeline and adjust our track's gain to create a new keyframe. Since we're making adjustments to the track and not the clip, we'll need to go down to our audio track and toggle Track Envelope to see these changes. Now we can see the audio levels is represented by this white line spanning the track, and the keyframes represented by these diamonds. For a better view, we can go to the bottom left corner of the editor panel and select a larger audio size and hit Command or Control plus or minus to zoom in and out of your timeline. From here we can move the keyframes around and for even more precise control we can choose different keyframe types and use the value graph in the controls panel. For more information on keyframes check out our tutorial on Filmora Pro's animation features. Some projects require more specific control when it comes to audio editing. That's why Filmora Pro allows you to make adjustments to individual audio clips. If we want to add a crossfade between two audio clips, we can easily do so by going to our effects panel and under Transitions Audio drag crossfade between two clips. We can make adjustments to our clips levels by dragging up and down the white line on any given clip. To create audio keyframes in clips, we can go to Level under Properties and toggle keyframes by pressing this circle beside Level. Like with audio tracks, you'll be able to see your audio keyframes down on the timeline in addition to in the controls panel. We can also apply audio effects to our clip by going down to our effects panel and selecting one of the many audio effects in Filmora Pro. Let's add an echo effect to this clip. When importing most video files, you'll get a video component and an audio component linked to it. However, sometimes you'll want to move this audio independently of your video. For example, we have this clip over here. I don't actually want to use the audio from this clip, so I'm going to right-click it and select Unlink. This will separate the audio and video clips, allowing me to move the audio freely or delete it without affecting the video. For projects with double system sound, there are a couple ways you can sync audio and video in Filmora Pro. You can do it manually by dragging in your audio clip under your footage clip and aligning the waveforms or slate. Then unlink the video clip's audio, then replace it with the new audio clip. Another way you can sync your audio and video is by selecting both your footage and audio clips in the media panel, right clicking them and selecting merge. Filmora Pro will analyze both clips' waveforms and automatically create a new merged clip in the media panel. Hey. Check this out. In film, television, commercials, and many YouTube videos, you'll find things called J and L cuts. These are special cuts where the audio will cut between shots at a different time than the video does. A J cut involves the audio cut happening before the video cut, giving the timeline a J sort of shape, and the L cut involves the audio cutting after the video clip cuts, giving the timeline a bit of an L shape. To create a J or L cut in Filmora Pro, you'll first want a couple clips next to each other on the timeline. Next, you'll want to make sure that the audio and video are unlinked in these clips. Next, trim the ends for your audio or video independently of each other so that the audio and video now cut at different times. Alternatively, you could hit the E key to toggle the Roll Edit tool and drag your cut on your audio or video track. Hey, check this out. So that's the basics of audio editing in Filmora Pro. Now you should be familiar with audio clips and tracks, unlinking and merging audio and video, and how to create J and L cuts. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more tutorials on how you can take your editing to the next level. There's no limit to what you can make.